Oh, hello, you insouciant long pigs. It is I, Sam of SG1, coming at you for another Transformers Transformation Review thingy. Yes, this time we're taking a look at Transformers Universe um, Micromaster Constructicons. Um, yes, we have um, Bone Crusher, Buckethead, Hightower, Long Haul, Mixmaster, and Scavenger. Yes, why these two are named, because that should be Scrapper and Hook, but why they lost the names. I don't know. They got them back, but there we go. Now this, to the keen observer, is a reissue of the is it Operation Combination Six Builder Team. Um, so yes. So let's get on, shall we? And there is Bone Crusher in his in his Bone Crushery goodness. Yes, he is a um, a bulldozer. Um, quite a nice one actually. He's got some nice details going on. Um, you got all these um, molded. You know, tank treads going on there. Um, no robot kibble at all, which is nice to see. Um, nice copy there as well. Um, nice big, well, not big, but nice Decepticon symbol. It's quite a small one. You can see how big my fingernails are. Um, you go. Um, it's a really nice um, bulldozer, essentially. Big black bulldozer. Um, yeah, I, to, I like MicroMasters. They get a bit of a bad rep, but I, like, I do like them. Um, let's just move the camera there, yeah. Um, and then you can raise up the bucket like that, or the shovel, like so. And that's your lot, unfortunately. There's no wheels. Oh, yeah, there is wheels on it. So you can roll. Not amazing, but he's a tank, so he doesn't need to roll that fast, does he? So, uh, tank treads, rather, not a tank. But there we are. So to transform him, what do we do? Is you push the bucket back as far as it'll go. And then we basically just separate him up and pull these legs down like that. Pull out his little arms. And then you reach in here and then you pull out his little, little bonce. Now, one thing that really annoys me about this guy is his Decepticon symbol is upside down. Should be the other way around, but then, you know, can't have everything. Um, and there he is in his rabbit mode. Um, very cool. Let's have a look, take a look at his face, if it'll zoom in. And he's got a fairly micromastery face, which is pretty nice. Um, paint is a little bit splotchy, uh, but you know, it's a tiny, tiny little thing, so you can't have everything. But he's not too bad. In terms of articulation, his arms can move up and down. I mean, he's a G1 MicroMaster. Um, he can bend at the knees and move at the hips because he can sit him down. But that's more for transformation than anything else. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool. So we'll put him over there. And now, here's Buckethead, or I probably end up, ended up calling him uh, Scrapper. Um, yeah, this one is probably the weakest of the bunch, um, because he's got no discernible details. The cop is not coloured in. Um, you've got a little ladder there going on. And let's zoom this in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, you've got a little ladder going on there. The cop is not coloured, which is weird. Uh, nothing on there. Nothing on the back, apart from the con uh, connection hole. And what does it say there? Um, 92, 95, copyright to car yeah, yeah. Um, that's it, pretty much. Got a nice Decepticon symbol there, but that'll come into play later. Um, yeah, this one's, like to say, the weakest of the bunch. I mean, it does have a, a, a nice bucket there, or a scoop. Um, and it does move up and down, which is pretty nice. And he does roll quite nicely when you get him. There we are. He does roll quite nicely, this guy, so it's not too bad. Um, so transform him then. Basically, you just do what he more or less did to him. Pull his legs down like that. Pull down his shovel like so. Come back here. Now, these wheels are in the way. His arms are in a very weird position. I've, you've got to pull them around the wheels. Um, if it'll do it. There we are. Pull them around the wheels like that. And like that. And then you pull out his little head. Thus. Oh, I didn't want to go there, yeah. There we are, and his little head. And there he is in his robot mode. Um, yeah, like I said, I think this guy's the weakest of the bunch. Um, but he's still pretty cool. Let's look at that head. If it'll zoom in. He's got a nice head. And perhaps the paint's better on this one. Yes, the paint has chipped a bit on there. But, I mean, this thing is 20 years old. So, you know. Um, I can't believe these are 20 years old, you know, um, yeah, so, yeah, the, the Universe ones, I got them at Toys R Us, I think they were like £3 a pair, a, a piece, and I managed to get the whole set as well, which is really nice, um, yeah, in terms of articulation, his arms can rotate, they should technically rotate 360, but they're hindered by the wheels, why the wheels had to be there, I don't know, 
why they couldn't make him this way around and put the bucket over his head like that would work better. In fact, it wouldn't work a lot better, but, you know, it is what it is. And there is uh, Bucket Head in his robot mode. And there is Hannah, Man in the High Tower. Um, he's a crane. It should be Hook. You've got some nice details. Again, you've got... Um, I do like the colour scheme on the constructor guns. I always like the, the, the sort of minty, limey green and the uh, the purple, which is really nice. Um, that annoys me when they when they put when they mould a wheel in. That's just for sure. They could have easily put another extra wheel in there. It's really annoying. Um, but you've got a lot of details. You've got the cockpit details, and you've got the bit for the the uh, the crane. The crane can move uh, three sixty degrees, which is really nice. You can move it up and down, uh, and that. Bends in the middle, but that's for transformation. And he rolls fairly well. Not not amazingly well, but he does roll. Um, yeah. So you rotate this back. You take it. Focus, there we are. Rotate his legs around thus. And then bring out his little arms. And there he is in his full-on G1 robot mode. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at his head. His head is a little bit washed out because the... Chosen not to colour it purple. In this case, I'd have coloured it purple just to break it up from the all this green. I mean, it's got a really nice head sculpt in there, which is pretty nice. And then some nice other details. And there we are. That's it, really. Um, yeah, I mean, you can move his arms up and down, but they're hindered by all this kibble. That should be up there like that. Um, he's got a uni knee. He can move his legs in and out, but that's more for transformation. And that's him in his robot mode. Not too bad, not too bad. And here is a long haul in his dump truck mode, and he rolls really nice. He's the best roller of the bunch. He's got big, nice, big wheels on it, which is really nice indeed. Um, you can see his robot head in there, which is a bit of a shame. Nice Decepticon symbol there. Uh, it would have been nice on there, but there you go. Um, you can see, yeah, robot kibble underneath, but it's no bad thing. And then this, so that's it. It doesn't do anything else but roll in this mode. So we'll take him to robot mode. We just lift this up, and then we. Pull this down, and then we rotate it up like that. And then we pull out his ickle, ickle arms. Again, he's hindered by the the bumper. And then you pull his head up. And then there he is. He's pretty cool. But that's all you're getting out of him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, he's a micromaster, isn't he? He's not, you're not going to get, you know, it's not going to be masterpiece quality, is it? Nah, let's just look at his face there. He's got an odd-shaped head. He's got like a, like a visor, like a Boba Fett helmet, like a Mandalorian kind of visor going on there. Um, it doesn't do anything, it's just moulded in, which is pretty cool actually. And he's got a nice, um, nice face there, nice face plated face. Uh, and there he is, and there is a long haul. Here we have Mixmaster, who is a cement mixer. Uh, again, he's got the oddly moulded wheel there, which is really, not, really weird. Uh, I don't know why they did that. But he, he rolls not particularly well. He does roll, but not particularly well. Uh, nice silver um, mixing barrel there. Nice truck details on the front. Um, but yeah, there it is. Nice Decepticon badge there. Yeah, so yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. And that noise you can hear in the background is a washing machine going on. <laughs> uh, I, need a, I need to soundproof this room. But there we go. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, to transform him then, all you do is you just basically exactly the same as the others pretty much. That's it. That's entirely his transformation. You just pu pull his legs up like that, and that's his robot mode. And he can pull his arms out when he wants to come out. Uh, oh, that's tight, that one. Um, yeah, that is entirely his, tra his transformation. But he does it well. And he's got a nice face in there with some extra rockets on the side of his head. And whatever the hell that is, what is that? Anyway, it was just a bit, somehow a bit of glue or something got stuck in there. Anyway, he's got a nice face sculpt. Very G1 face, actually. It's very cool. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much him. His arms can move up and down, but they are super tight on mine. Um, but that's that's your lot. That's Mixmaster in a nutshell. And last, by no means least, is Scavenger. And he is a digger. Uh, very much like uh, Mixmaster, um, no, High Tower over there. Um, in fact, I think he's, he's almost exactly the same design, except the um, the cockpit for the digger is on this side. Uh, you can rotate that 360 degrees around thus. Uh, his digger arm will move up and down as well, which is nice, and he'll bend there too. 
everything he did go does. Except his legs are really loose, and it's been like that since I got it out of the pack. So, and that was twenty years ago. Any rolls, fairly well, not too bad. Um, yeah, so let's take a close look at some of these details. We've got some um, windscreen wipers there. We've got some nice windows going in. Got some nice windows on there. And for some reason that looks a bit... Oh, it's a window wiper. Oh, right. I thought it was a bit of a thing. Yeah, it's a window wiper. Um, Decepticon symbol there as well. Um, but that's about it, really. Just your standard Micro Master details. Not a lot, but enough, you know, to get by. So there we go. And then to transform him, again, same as the others, you just pull down his legs and we're pretty much done. You know, and then whip out his arms, and there he is. There is Scavenger in his robot mode. Um, very nice, very nice. Um, he can move his arms up and down, but they're hindered by all this massive kibble there. Um, he does have a really nice face, actually. Nice visored face there. Pretty cool. Nice chest piece going on. Um, yeah, so there we go. And there is um, Scavenger all in his robot mode. I mean, there's the team in it, it, all its glory. And they do look good together. I mean, the colour scheme does work. I mean, I would like um, uh, combiner teams where the, they all share the same colour scheme. And it works really well in this case. Um, but they they are lacking because they're MicroMasters. Because they have a gimmick, in it, The combining gimmick. Which we'll get to in just a moment. But first, I want to highlight something. Now, each one of these came with um, all the bits to make. Don't devastate. So you get. A I can't remember who comes with who, but you get a foot, you get another foot, you get a fist, and you get another fist. Uh, you get a gun, um, you get some pants, and you get a shirt, and you get a head. Now, one thing this thing does that all the MicroMaster combiners did um, back in the Operation Combination, you can actually connect all this together and make a little spaceship. So let's do that. So you get the pants and the shirt, and then you've got a little, um, you've got little parts there, uh, and a little post there. Sorry, little parts there. And then what you do is you just connect those up. Thus, then you get an arm, and then you connect it to this part here, uh, post even. I guess man's he's, he's rubbing off a bit of paint there. Um, yeah, so you put them on like that at the side. Then you get the uh, feet and put them on the side. Like so. I mean, you can reattach the head if you want. I'll just put it on the back like that. And then you get the gun and you've got these two little notches here. And you've got these two little posts on the side of the gun. And they fit in there like that. And it becomes a cockpit. And then you get like a little spaceship, which is really cool. So, you know, you can actually play with the parts. Um... You know they're not just, not just um, you know, in a pile waiting to waiting to play. You know you can actually use them in this mode. You can have a, a little spaceship there. It's pretty cool, and and you can get one of the constructor gun guys um, to sit in there like so. Oh, he falls out. But they can sit in there if they want, and you can fly around like a spaceship, which is pretty cool. Um, I wish they did that more more often. Utilize the parts to make something else. You know. But anyway, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate this up and then we'll make it old Devi. So, what are we going to do? We're going to start with the pants and the shirt because that's the way to do it. So we're going to start with the pants and the shirt. So I'm going to get Mixmaster here and turn him back into vehicle mode, like so. I that wasn't too fast for you. And he connects to his leg there. You've got a little gap there, and you've got a little post sticking up there. So you've got a little, um, a little tab and a little um, a port. And the little tab goes up into the cavity there. So you get it up in there like that, and then you place it on the uh, thing like that. And there we go. And then we get a foot, and we stick the foot on, like so. Oh, and he stands. Nice. <laughs> uh, and then we get a long haul, in this case. Uh, we just transform him back to vehicle mode, uh, like that, and then you get the foot for him, like, there we are, same again, you just put the tab and the uh, part in there, like so, there we are, and there he is, so let's just raise this up, 
because he's going to get not big but bigger um so we'll just move this back here so now what do we do we get um scavenger and we just transform him more or less back well you just put his arms back in and then you put his arms down like that and then you get a fist which is uh this one um it's quite a nice fist i don't know why they they molded it in green and then painted it purple i don't know why they just didn't mold it in black and paint it you know up purple because you can see the green coming out of it but hey oh, there you are so what you do now is you get where his legs are and you get these little clips inside here and they just fit in there like that and that becomes his fist which is pretty nice actually and then you get the you get a peg there and then a part there and then you peg them part them together like so um same for high tower here um just bend that down fold that up like so turn him around this way you have to put them this way because i've got the decepticon symbol sticking up so same as before you just slide that onto there like that and then you connect him up thusly now you get bucket head uh, and then you transform him like this now what you're going to do is you've got a little hole there and in the back here you've got a little post back in there so what you've got to try and do is get that aligned up in such a way that it that it'll sit in there and then you fold him fold him around like that so that the and get his arms out of the way that's it and then that the the bucket actually becomes his chest which is a quite nice ingenious little bit to do and then we mo we're almost ready basically you could play with him like that and i'd be a five commander team now this is this one i find a bit shit so you get um bone crusher here and you, what you do is you transform him this way so what you do is you rotate him back like that then you get his hands and push them backwards so they line up parallel to the rear treads like that pull this over his over the front there like that and on the back here you get a little put a little part there which fits right on his ass right there and bone crusher here unfortunately has a distinction of becoming devastator's ass and then you just put it in like that and it fills the gap up but he's he's just an ass and there we go and then last but no means least we come on there we are. get the head and we turn it around and there is micromaster devastator in full-on robot mode and he's cool actually i do like this guy um i'd like to get the six builder version as well um but the one thing about these micromaster components like scramble city they can fit on any part, which is really nice. Um, and you get a gun, which is a really nice gun, with a cockpit in it, you know, because of the, the extra gimmick. And you can get like, two extra missiles on the side. They don't fire off, but they're there. Um, and you can hold that in his hand like so. Oh, no, I said like so, not drop it. There we go. And there he is. He's pretty cool. I do like him. Um, so, in terms of articulation, then, he can rotate his arms 360 degrees at the shoulders, and he can move his arms in and out like that at the at the top of the shoulder i want to say it does have elbow bend but they're bending the wrong way but so we don't count that and that oh you can turn his head left and right as well but that's the lot but i mean it is g1 even though it was released in 2004 but he's a really cool figure uh if you can track one of these down i think they're fairly expensive now i think they've gone up in price for some reason because you know if you just want a mini devastator if you've got i have got a lot of room and you want a little devastator great choice to go for it it was my only devastator for a lot of years um so yeah he's pretty cool pretty cool so uh hit like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell to tell me i've got uh, new videos out if you think i deserve it and want to help out and want to help support me there's a patreon link in the description and there'll be an annotation popping up here at the end of the video um for a little as a pound a month and it, it help out this channel greatly and um thanks very much and i'll catch you all very soon bye for now Transformers, more than me.